homebuyersblog.com. Video blogging for one of my favorite places, the uh, Shell Car Wash here in Simi Valley, California. And today we're going to talk about the mayor's uh, key to the city speech that we got today at our Rotary Club meeting. Uh, mayor Paul Miller of Simi Valley is our uh, one of our fellow Rotarians with the Simi Sunrise Rotary, and he gave us an update on the city as to where we were going and what was uh, our outlook for the future. Uh, big things to note is that we've got a uh, $8 million surplus. Uh, it's a rainy day fund and he did tell us to expect uh, Sacramento to raid that kitty in the amount of two to four million dollars. They've done this to us in the past uh, whenever there's a budget deficit up in Sacramento. Last time they took uh, 2.7 million and uh, did not re, uh, refund us back or give us back uh, the 750,000. So, uh, they have that plan in effect that that will probably happen again. Uh, he also did explain some of the development in town and that development is um, Runkle Canyon and um, the two Walmart projects, or uh, not Walmart, but Walgreens. We've got a Walgreens going up on uh, Tapo Street and Alamo right up there by the Fresh and Easy and we have another one going in by the Dewitt Center there in the old uh, bank building up there off of Sycamore. Also, uh, Runkle Canyon is still going through environmental inspections. There is ground contamination. The state is looking at it to see if that development can move forward. We're also brought up to date on the landfill expansion plans and uh, those that's going forward. The uh, County Board of Supervisors controls if the landfill can expand. However, the city did blow a perfect opportunity to help block that expansion by driving Unical out of the uh, Los Alamos development. If you uh, do some web searches, you can see some more information on that. Uh, Unical owned that property and the uh, city and the planning commission became so restrictive on the density and the uses for that project that Unical pulled out and sold the property to waste management. It's believed that if a uh, residential project uh, would have bordered that landfill up there, it would have made it very difficult for waste management to expand the landfill. Overall, the city's in good shape. Uh, we were given the numbers to the graffiti hotline, so uh, graffiti can be taken care of immediately. That's a very effective free use for the city. Um, we found out that 43% of our budget is uh, geared towards the safety of the city and the police department. And overall, it was a great uh, speech, good positive outlook. And uh, outside of some of the uh, revenues being down from the property tax and sales taxes, uh, where the city does get its revenue, uh, we will be moving forward and growing uh, as we can. That's uh, all I have for today. And like any other blog I have up there, if you've got comments, please post them up on the blog. And uh, open discussion about these topics is always great for everyone. Thanks and have a great day.